stick a move in the ring. You can hit me with the words you fling. All right, UFC welterweight Jason Witt. Thank you, Jason, for joining me today. You know, how are you living today in this world of uh, un, uh, unpredictable times? Uh, I'm living good, man. Quarantine and everything, but uh, everything's good in, on my end. All right. Where yourself? No, good, man. You know, trying to live and, and trying to do my best, man, in, in this world. You know, what can you do? You go from uh, one day's notice to a full training camp. So how many weeks have you had to uh, prepare for this upcoming fight? Uh, I want to say at least 12. I, wow. I kind of stopped counting at that point. Uh, the fight was supposed to be it was supposed to be scheduled for September 12th. Um, he declined that date, and then they did it for uh, October 31st. So it's been a minute since we've actually had an opponent and had you know time to time to train for this. Now, it seems like you know you can make 170 pretty easily. Was there any talks of you you know taking your next fight at 155? Yeah, uh, my coach and I, James Krause, sat down and kind of said, hey, we need you to go to the Institute to uh, take some tests, see if you can make 155. Uh, I haven't had a chance to. We were going to before this matchup got set up, <clears throat> but uh, we like the matchup so much, and we do well at 70, so we might as well stay at 70 for this fight. And then after this, we'll talk about going to 155. I don't want to do it. I don't look forward to, you know, I like the 170 lifestyle of kind of doing whatever I want. Uh, but if 55 is what's best for my career, then that's kind of where I got to go. Yeah, man, if you if you love 170, man, and, and your lifestyle is great. I think you should stay there. Uh, I'm not a, I'm not a big 170. That's the problem. I'm not a tall mm. person. Like I'm muscular 170. I'm not gonna get thrown around. But uh, height wise, you know, they they got a lot of height on me. They got a lot of reach on me. So it's it's something that plays against me. But also, uh, you know, getting the UFC, like I was, I knew I'd have to get shorter on his fights. So we wanted to do a 70 because I can make that easy. But, you know, now I have time, now I get a little time to uh, sit down and actually schedule out a diet plan and everything. So 55 might be the, might be the way to go after this. So you, you probably, you know, take advantage of the UFC PI probably after this <laughs> fight coming up? Absolutely. They got a, they got tests there that kind of kind of uh, dictate whether your body can actually make 155 healthy or, you know, like healthier. Um, so we're going to do that after this fight and just kind of see where I'm at. If I can't make it, I can't make it. That's fine. If I can't, yeah. then we'll, we'll get the process started. Definitely, man. I've heard so many good things from fighters that take advantage of those tests and, and, uh, like the meal plans and all of that stuff that they got you. I think you're wearing the, the ring, right? The aura ring. I'm not. This is actually my wedding band. I haven't got, Oh, the really? Ring. It looks exactly like the, 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 the yeah. rings that they have. A good old fashioned wedding band. Yeah. Uh, no. I'll wear one if they got one. Might as well. I, I enjoy little things, you know, that help. Anything that helps, if I can dictate my sleep and tell me what I'm doing, if I'm doing sleep right, you know, then might as well. Maybe, you, I guess you're going to have to pick one up when you're there in Vegas this time around. Hey, I'm, I'm going to make them give me one. Like, <laughs> hey, I need one of those. No, man, the, it's awesome. Like, I went there before I got in the UFC with, uh, with James Kraus. Mm -hmm. uh, I fought for FFC. Uh, that was last September, I believe. Mm -hmm. And the place is just cool. Now that I can actually go as, you know, by myself, it's, it's, it's a little bit better. So I'll take full advantage of that. Definitely. Now, were, were there any other opponents tossed around? Any names tossed around before you signed to fight Cole Williams? Uh, no, this was the, the first opponent they, they told me. Uh, only opponent that, I, that I've actually got a name for. And so when they signed, I signed and we're good to go. Just started prepping for that right after. You know, with all the stuff that went that happened for the Sato fight. It's just one day medicals flying around, like things shifting around. The UFC had to shift the bouts around. Like there was just chaos going on. Does it almost seem like this fight is your UFC debut with, with the preparations and stuff all lined up perfectly? Um, not, I can see that it could be seen that way, but not really. Um, you know, what happened happened, you know, the, the way it went down, it got me in the UFC and that was just the opportunity that I took. But uh, this is this is this is my chance to kind of like redeem myself. So it's not really my debut, but it's it's just I kind of got a chip on my shoulder from the last one, and I brought that in a training camp, and I'm really gonna kind of show what what I'm capable of with a full training camp behind me. All right, now you know Cole Williams. You know what are your thoughts on him and uh, what he brings to the table? Uh, I don't really care. I, I um, you know he's he's a, he's a collegiate wrestler. Good for him. Uh, that looks good on paper. But in the cage, it's a different story. When I hit you and you take shitty shots, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I got good footwork, I got good wrestling technique, and I think I'm a better wrestler than he is. And I know that sounds crazy, but I think that you know, with my athleticism, I think my wrestling would be better than his. Um, he's a good pressure striker, good, good 
rear hand, you know, good right hand, two, four, throws a lot of those. But what we're game planning for is going to kind of uh, dictate what we do better than him. And that's kind of what we're looking for. I was looking at, um, you know, his his debut. It was against Claudio Silva. And, you know, your coach, James Krause, just fought Claudio Silva. And, and 13 I just got that win. Yeah, and, and then like what? Like now you're facing Williams. It's 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 weird how like the MMA world works. You know, like how it's all linked up together. Yeah, it really. So yeah, it's 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 crazy. Like I was thinking the same thing because I was watching my coach fight, and I was like, I even told my wife like, the guy that's getting choked out is my opponent, and my coach is fighting that guy, and like it was just really weird. <laughs> set up i was like that's kind of cool it is well, you know did you go back and watch that fight his debut what did you think of uh his performance yeah uh, it's kind of like going back to watch my performance against soda you know what i mean like there's not a lot to pick up on um i think claudia just took him down with a pretty makeshift takedown let me know if that was, that was wrestling or what it was um and once again on the ground i really wasn't i wasn't impressed with cole i kind of just sat there and just took punches and i mean i realized that was a you know champion black belt so it's, it's probably easier said than done when you're when you're got a guy like that on top of your back but uh yeah i just i think with the system that we're working with at glory mma i i know that uh me holding him down and just peppering him with shots is going to be kind of the game plan at glory mma you know who have you been working closely with ahead of this matchup yeah we got we got so many people now man uh i've been working a lot with julian marquez you know mm -hmm. he's an 85 so a little bigger than i am but so is cole williams so he's kind of a kind of a perfect matchup for me in terms of he has good boxing and good wrestling. So we, we've put a lot of work in, me and him. Uh, we got a lot of no-name guys, too, that, that people don't know about. A guy named Devin Weber is a monster. Uh, has a great overhand right, fantastic wrestling. I think he's better than Cole Williams, so I think getting a lot of training with him has been really beneficial for me. So And then we just have, you know, the normal. I got Grant Dawson teaching class while I cross the way. We have, we have great coaches there. We just have a lot of good bodies. A lot of good people in the UFC that are training there. Yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, Grant Dawson. You know, what, what's the update on him? He hasn't, you know, peeped his head out lately. Is Does he got a fight coming up? He he wants Clay Guida. He wants he wants, he wants wants okay. to fight. He wants Clay Guida, but I guess Clay Guida gets a fight. Um, the kid's ready. The kid's in shape. He's never quit training. He's always in the gym. I think he's in the gym more than anybody that, that there is. Um, I, I think they're just looking for a name for him. And once, once that goes down, he'll, he'll be ready to go. You know, Williams, he's been out for, like, around 14 months. You know, are you a believer in, in uh, cage rust? Especially, you know, since you're going into this fight with no crowd. It's an empty UFC apex. Yeah, I don't think that really that really plays a plays a big role in it. Um, I know the crowd can pump you up a little bit, but I think uh, not having, a, not having a, uh, a crowd kind of, you can hear your coaches a little better, a little more. It's almost a little more like you're at home. You know what I mean? Because you got your, couch, your coach yelling at you. Uh, from that, um, yeah, I don't, I, I don't really believe in ring, ring rust. Like, I think that's just, I think it just takes people a little bit of time to get started. And if, if that's a problem, then that's, that's your problem. Like, if you have ring rust and against me, I'm, I'm happy for you. Like, good, good for you. Like, I'm gonna take advantage of that. Probably gonna hurt you for it. Uh, so come in ring rust ready. I don't care. Um, do I believe in it? No, I don't really care. Um, I know I'm coming in ready. I don't care what he does, whether he's ready, whether he's coming off the couch or not. It's, it's up to him. I'm in the gym every day, twice a day. So, so what what type of performance are you expecting? You know, out of yourself in this fight coming up? Yeah, I expect a, a kind of a a, a calm and collected, uh, just kind of a violent, calm. I don't know, that's mm -hmm. very conscious. Uh, uh, a grinding fight. Like I, I, I think I'm gonna out wrestle him. I think I'm gonna put him in his cage, and I'm gonna I'm gonna grind him out. Um, I don't really see me like knocking him out, but I really I see myself TK him on the ground, just mm -hmm. cooking him up really kind of kind of hurting him and then slowing him down quite a bit and then just having my way after that glory mma man you guys have so many fighters so many elite fighters across the promotions and seemingly no covid cases man like what's the secret you guys have are you guys testing all the time or is it just like you know in that area you know compared to other pockets of the u.s there's not many cases yeah i don't i don't i don't, I don't know if it's, maybe someone put it in the water i don't know <laughs> uh no we're just uh you know, we're just we're just grinding away. We really, it, we, I guess we've been fortunate. We're just, um, just kind of putting the work in the gym. And then if if, if COVID happens, it happens. If it doesn't, then fuck it. We're we're still we're still working. Is that is that a concern for you? You know, like heading into a, a fight week, like man, 
you know, that could actually happen? Or is it just like something that you just don't even think about? You know, I try not to think about it. I try to stay as positive as possible. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't mean terms of COVID, but I just mean like a positive mindset. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's. I, I try not to think about it because I really don't don't want to even put out in the universe that it could happen. Mm -hmm. I just kind of want to just just do my thing. I trained for, you know, 12 weeks. I never had a 12-week camp before in my entire mm -hmm. life. So I'm happy to just kind of put that aside and just train and hopefully it doesn't happen. Yeah, with the with the 12 week camp, what differences do you see in yourself? Uh, lots of differences, man. Like mm -hmm. uh, with 12 weeks, we actually got to sit down and write out a schedule of what I'm doing every day. Um, I get to set up training partners who I'm going with that are that are more like Cole Williams, you know, more uh, opponent based uh, training partners. So it's a lot of those. We we sit down and and did a strength conditioning schedule too. We have a whole glory team at this strength conditioning place uh, at Exos and Lee Summit. So we just had a lot of uh, a, a lot of little changes that that just helped me prepare for this. Um, there's a lot of things that Kraus wanted me to do that we just kind of set up in terms of you know wrestling, clinch work, a lot of feints, a lot of those things. Just those things have been done over and over and over again. So when they are happening in practice, they're happening in sparring. I'm seeing them uh, in a better in a better version. You're you're fighting in Las Vegas. You know a lot of people they fell in love with this. Uh fight island you know remember back like months ago yeah. everybody's like oh this is gonna be on a beach and blah 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 but it didn't it didn't end up that way and you've had many guys go out there on your team and fight you, are you are you not jealous of them like going all the way to abu dhabi absolutely not absolutely <laughs> like I, i'd love to go to abu dhabi don't get me wrong that sounds fantastic uh i'd love to ride ferraris down on racetrack i'd love to go to the beach i'd love to see the city in itself but I know they're not doing that. I know with COVID, they're 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 quarantining in a hotel for two days. You got a 17-hour flight over there. You got to go to Vegas. You got to come back. You got to go back to Vegas. It's it's it just seems like a lot. Like I know in Vegas, um, I'm fighting on Saturday. I'll be home Sunday, and that that to me sounds way better than traveling to Abu Dhabi or Fight Island. Uh, I imagine the experience the experience is cool. I imagine it, it might be worth it. But right now, I just want to. I'd rather come home uh that sunday instead of 17 hour flight yeah those those quarantines can do your head in a little bit i've noticed guys going back you know to their own country man and they're doing two weeks really yeah some countries you have to do two weeks really i'm yeah. going to florida I'm going to florida the next week after that so i don't, <laughs> I don't care <laughs> yeah definitely well hey man i'm looking forward to you returning to the octagon october 31st halloween any plans for halloween after the fights now i, I want to i want to try to watch the anderson silva fight I, i'm really excited oh, to be on the same card as anderson silva i don't know if i'll be able to i'm trying to try to like sneak backstage so nobody knows i'm there i don't want to go back to the hotel and watch it because that's the same as always but i'd like to just be like like see if i can sit cage side like just put on like a like a usada uniform or something i don't know just be able to sit there and just watch the fight cage side would be cool but i doubt that'll happen but yeah that's 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 my plan is just celebrate watching that fight you know celebrate my my victory over Cole Williams and watch Anderson Silva fight. Yeah, I noticed that I've I've interviewed uh, uh, you know a handful of fighters on this card, and all of them, all of them are like, man, I need to see Anderson Silva fight. This could be the last time, right? And especially in person. That's you know, it's, it's yeah. one thing to watch and on TV, but to watch it in person is it's just it's just spectacular this is the last fight like you gotta mm -hmm. you gotta see it. it's just a it's a legendary thing to, to witness all right man thank you so much uh jason for the time man uh good luck on the fight all the best and uh we'll see you man hopefully maybe you get another fight in in december who knows i'm in let's go tell me what it's <laughs> i'm in. appreciate it thank you so much man i'll talk to you later Pick